Are there ghosts and demons in corporeality, or were there ever? Kabbalists describe in their books demons and ghosts in spirituality, but they take the words and descriptions from our world. So what are demons and ghosts according to Kabbalah, and what do demons and ghosts mean in corporeality? Kabbalists always write only about the spiritual world. The Torah in general tells us only about the spiritual world. This is why it's called the Holy Torah. Holy means separate from our world. You are uh, holy to me, sacred to me. You are separated from the world and dedicated to me if I'm the groom. So the Torah is sacred. What does it mean sacred? It belongs to the Creator, to the spiritual world. Uh, sanctity. Sanctity is a degree of being. It's above our world. It's the quality of bestowing and, and love that doesn't exist in our world. So, when we talk about the Torah, that's how we talk about it. Now, the question was, what are demons and ghosts in the spirituality, and what are they in corporeality? Yeah, okay, so what Kabbalists are saying, they're always describing the spiritual world. Demons, ghosts, angels, holy animals, they're all kinds. Uh, Kabbalah and the Book of Zohar are all filled with it. These are all descriptions of forces, spiritual forces. Just like in forces in our world, like the electromagnetic, electrostatic, uh, gravity, wind, and whatever. So what are these evil forces? Evil opposite good, yes, because God created both. Uh, you know, good angels, you have bad angels. The evil inclination is also an angel. Opposite that, you have the good inclination because the Creator runs us, manages us through these two forces. So what, there's a war? It's as if there's a war, a person is between good and bad forces. It's, it also seems, it only seems that way to, to you. There's no evil in the world, but that's how it seems to you. So then you have to find your way in life towards the purpose of creation in between these forces. Between the demons and ghosts and the good angels? Yeah, but both are forces of your own soul. They don't exist outside of you out there, around the corner, you know, there you have the negative ones and here are the good ones. God forbid, it's all inside. The whole Torah speaks to man, of man's heart and all the forces and all the powers and qualities. Everything that's written there is within me only. So I have to relate to everything, you know, building cities, powers, demons, ghosts, angels, good ones, bad ones are all in my heart. and. Then, I go into my heart and begin to correct it. So out of all these forces that I collect correctly, I achieve the goal. And they are opposite each other deliberately. What does it mean in corporeality, demons and ghosts? That was in spiritual. What are demons and ghosts in corporeality? I don't know. I know that in our world, I'm a scientist. I believe only in what we can measure and see. I don't believe in aliens, I don't believe in life on other planets, in demons or ghosts or anything. There are things in our world, everything runs by laws, there are laws we know, there are laws we, um, we still don't know, but these are laws, there are no miracles, and don't wait for miracles. There never were, there never will be, some things are hidden from us right now. We don't know them, but that's all there is. So relax about the demons and goats and all that. And we have our truth. Let's stick to it.